All right, well, that's more or less daytime, but because it's so, you know, I better make myself another sword before I forget. And I'm out there, like, you know, what, what do you expect to happen? Fighting a skeleton or a creeper or something, and my sword breaks. That's how it would go. That is definitely how it would go. Do sticks. I don't, I don't remember the last time I made sticks. Wow. Extra sword. Sounds good. And let's actually just go ahead and throw all this in here. Oh, I got that one extra pork chop. Let me see if our pork chop's stacking correctly now. They should be. Yeah, see, it should keep this slot selected. So that when it's pulling in, like, it always keeps this slot full of coal. So when it pulls stuff in, it can't go into the slot that's selected, so it automatically will stack. I don't know why. Oh, perfect timing. Wow. All right, so the zombie's gone then. Oof. Um, and that creeper, I know he's around here. I know he's around here. How much dirt? I have a fair bit of dirt. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, more seeds. Okay, so. In order for this, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? I have to put it a bucket of water here. Now, like, weird thing, like, okay, so what? I'll put that there, give him a bucket, and let's grab my torch. And yeah, this is gonna cause a little bit of a mess, but I, I need to I need to know what the result of this is going to be. Like, if I Is he still trying to place two below him? Because that's a little bit annoying. Yeah. Weird. Ooh, wow. Three snowballs. No, he's not placing two. What? You gotta be kidding me. And now he'll pick up the one directly below him. So if I go down, placed, and that doesn't work. That is definitely a bug. <laughs> um, yeah, that that behavior is it's definitely a bug because it's like I cannot place water on this square. Ha! Huh. Craziness. Um, oh, not from above. What if I go back down, place up? Yeah, that works. All right, I guess I just have to do it that way. Oh, it freezes. <laughs> right away, too. I can fix that. So anyway, so that gives me... Kinda what I was looking for. That's that's not actually gonna work anyway. There. Go down, place. Go pick that up. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. This is this is harder than I would like. This I mean just designing this farm because of the silly because of my silly turtles. So I think I am actually gonna have to uh, wrap up just this recording session soon. Spider. Got him. Oh, that makes him hostile, nice. Ow. That seemed like a, a bit of a long leap for him. Anyway. Uh, okay. Let's see here. 
That's sand. The zombie died there. Okay, so. <clears throat> yeah, that's really annoying that that, that place down is broken, because that's really going to make things a little bit harder. Um, okay, so I need everything to come down to... So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need two more in there. So let's put a turtle. Uh, yep, that's the right way. And then we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and that's uh, actually be nine. Tunnel to tunnel nine, right? That's that's actually still Wow, well, that's actually still really inefficient. <laughs> that's okay. Alright, so I'll have uh go on eight off I eight that side, go off eight this side, have a channel down the middle, and I think I think that will work out just fine. Have a pork chop. I actually had pork chops for dinner. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to hold that down. Um, yeah, pork chops for dinner. Delicious. Stop right there. Okay. So now, go up, right turn two, dig up forward, dig up forward, dig up forward, dig up forward. <laughs> Might be one too many. No, that was right. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I should change. I'm gonna do that because once I start typing things repetitively, I get bothered. So dig is now D. Dig up is uh, D U. And same thing, place, place down, place up. Not too hard to remember, right? So easy to change, so why not? <laughs> Go, right turn forward, right turn, dig up, forward, dig up. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Boy, if I could write something where I could uh, modify that program uh, even further yet, to where I could put like parentheses, like open parenthesis, and then after the close parenthesis, I'd put a number to repeat like a sequence, like dig up forward. Yeah, that would that would be pretty cool. It'd be rather more advanced parsing than what I currently have, but. All right, um, so I guess I need to fill in these holes. This is not very exciting stuff. I apologize. Uh, but it must be done. If we are to have a farm. Whoa, that's a little farther than I thought. Yeah, see that again? I'm, I'm kind of running to where, like, oh yeah, that'd be nice if I had a... Uh... Is there a fill program or something? No, there's not. Uh, that would be something to write, perchance. I think what I'm going to do for now is, yeah, just fill in this. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Right? One, two, three, four. No, oh, that's six. Six, okay. So we say, go place down. Let's make sure he has plenty of dirt. 
place down forward. Okay, so that's one, two, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was more than six. Oh, well, that's all right. So you do go left turn forward, left turn. There we go. All right turn forward, right turn. Not too shabby. getting dark, which means there's going to be creepers after me again. And then we fill that. Two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, you really gotta make sure you're careful with this thing when you're Six, yeah, that's six. Two, three, four, five. Uh -huh. I'm really still, I'm still literally loving this new set of commands, though. Makes this Go program totally useful. Um, you know, in in the computer craft challenge specific sense, that. I need somebody else to place all my blocks for me because I'm a huge wimp. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw a torch somewhere. Um, I should have brought more with me. And do, 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 do. Oh, yes. <laughs> Darn it. Go back five. Left turn forward five. <laughs> All right. Shouldn't care? Yeah, it doesn't care. Perfect. So that's going to be my tree farm area. It's pretty big. That might just do it for my charcoal needs for quite some time anyway. Oh, yes, I've been going at this way longer than I expected. Um, so, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, wrong slot. Okay, cool. Got that wall done. And I think this is where I'm going to have to leave this one. This has been the marathon tree farm building session. It's, uh, it just, it takes some time when I can't do any of this myself. It's just, you know, I got to. I had to figure out the water thing. I had to get attacked by creepers. It's been a it's been a long session, but fun, but fun. I I'll be oh I just attracted him. I noticed he was over there. Ow, ow. Yeah, I said ow and I didn't get hit. Um, so yeah, I noticed he was over there. But anyway, so I got a pretty good start here. I mean, I've got got the area laid out. And I'm ready. I've got my water buckets for sapling, sapling uh, gather, gathering. 
Let's see, how big, how far do these trees typically stick? They go out like two squares, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So, I have to decide how to do the farm. I have seen some that get bigger than that. Yeah, like this one here, right? Or is that other trees? No, he's sticking out pretty far. Yeah, that's three. That's definitely sticking out three. The leaves stick out three on this side. So, probably need to leave at least three blocks between them. I think that should be good. Yeah, this looks like another really big wide one. One, two, three, yeah. Okay. Ooh, must be generating some chunks in that direction. So, um, yes, I, I gotta stop. <laughs> I gotta stop, I gotta stop. Uh, this is gonna take me a little bit to chop up into edit episodes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna edit out some little bits. There's not too much that was all that dull, I will say. Um, so, next time, I will certainly be coming back and working on this tree farm. And, you know, in my next, next recording session, I will absolutely finish it up. Um, I've got most most of the difficult parts are done. Uh, we did a lot of neat stuff with the Go program today, which, hey, what the heck, let's just admire that one more time. Um, we've got our digging, we've got our placing, we've got slot selection, all with just a, a very small amount of uh, code addition to this whole this program, and it's it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, you just add your your functions here that you want to want to add, add in, and actually these first six, all the digs and places, those work just right off the bat. Just throw them into this array, and they'll work. Um, is it just if they return false, it'll lock things up. But you know, as long as you're careful, they'll work just fine. And then the select one, I just had to add an extra if handler down here to say like if this is a select, you know, don't try to select, don't do, don't loop the number of times. Take that number to mean the slot. Yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. All right, that was that was me waxing poetic about some really. <laughs> really simple programming. But hey, maybe people will find that useful, uh, you know, especially if you're doing computer craft challenge and, and stuff like that. So I'm, I might work more with that Go program, actually. Get ourselves some kind of a, you know, some kind of a, an almost, um, you know, miniature programming language using that, you know, one line scripts. And, well, let's say, new moon. So I just want to say thank you everybody so much for watching the Computer Craft Challenge. Um, I'm still having a good time making it here. Uh, you know, I'm definitely hitting some speed bumps on my way through, but that happens to everybody. And you, you don't know how hard this is until you've tried it and had creepers come at you. It's, it's, it's a different experience. Um, I've actually got a couple of different comments on various videos in the series now about other people interested in doing it. So um, you keep an eye out, you know, if you want to keep an eye on either my activity feed on YouTube or my Twitter or my Facebook. Um, when I, I like videos, I'll put them out there. You know, I'm always happy to to like and kind of help promote other people doing Computer Craft Challenge. So it's, oh, it's a flower. I was like, is that a creeper? Oh my God, look, it's like right, right there. Oh God, creeper feet. Right there by my crosshairs. Oh my god, it's it's a flower. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. I'm Ben. Really appreciate all of you, uh, all the new fans that I've gotten from this. I, I The response has been awesome. So, I will keep trying to bring you what you want, more Computer Craft Challenge. So, until next time, thanks for watching.